wilderness the whole syllabus was to teach him how to see so if you study john chapter 1 verse 33 john said or oh, the spirit i did not know him he said but the one that sent me told me he said the one upon which you see the spirit descend so the idea behind the elijah mantle is the ability to see so when god wants to impart you with the mantle of elijah what he does is that he opens your eyes to see because anything you see you possess so there are powers that you can't possess until you see so the idea behind the elijah mantle is not to bring an old testament prophet to impart you is to give you an ability to see because it's a pattern in the spirit the law in the spirit is that whatever you see you possess so the mantle of elijah gives you the capacity to see so that you can possess so when you when, when you hear germany you will no longer see a geographical territory you will see the prince ruling germany you will see the the, the manipulation of that prince and you will disarm it and you will take over the land that's the operation of the elijah mantle that's how mantles work mantles come to give you abilities and appetites for consecrations because if you get those abilities and those consecrations the powers will rest upon you but men represent those operations and dimension that's why we call those mantles after them it's not that we are bringing a dispensation that is gone to superimpose on a new dispensation how do you think some men become rulers it's the davidic mantle there's a mantle that comes from you that if you like be rejected by your family if you like be rejected by your generation they will have no choice but to bow before you because that mantle makes kings David was a shepherd boy. David was rejected. When the prophet came to anoint, the man brought seven of his sons and forgot David. But the prophet wanted to anoint Eliab. And God said, no, I have refused him. I have not rejected him. I have refused him. There's a difference between being rejected and being refused. Eliab was not rejected. He was refused. God rejects you if your heart is corrupt. But God refuses you is if either you are not ready or you are not the chosen one. And seven sons were refused because the mantle was meant for somebody in the wilderness. He had no training, he has no formal education, but the mantle is sensitive. And when the mantle came upon him, we now discovered why. And that's the key to the Davidic mantle, is a broken heart. It was a man after God's heart. His heart was broken. In Psalm 51 verse 17, David fell down when the prophet accused him. He said, a contrite heart and a broken spirit. Thou, O Lord, cannot despise. So when we talk about the Davidic mantle, we are talking about the power to exercise kingship and rulership. But the key is brokenness. So if that mantle comes on somebody here tonight, the consecration will be humility and brokenness. They will discover for the next three months, for the next five months, God will begin to emphasize brokenness and humility because the crown cannot rest on your head with pride.